All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the shipment? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's Kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. something in my stomach so I can fall asleep. There you go. Do you have a place to stay? I sleep out on the dock where they unload the speedboats. Speedboats? Is that how the NSF get their supplies? I don't know. They're always coming in and out of the tunnel behind the soda machine. Interesting. I spy on them from the crates. The code is 9183. Clever boy. Thanks for the snack, mister. It's the least I could do. That was good. The cleaner nanites made my teeth slippery. I wish everybody was as nice as you. Castle Clinton. I can't find them on the map, though.
Castle Clinton. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. You a cop? UNATCO agent. How does a little boy get mixed up with the NSF? I just wanted to find some food, but they didn't have any. And then they started shooting at the police. Got some? Want this candy bar? You're cool. Glad I could help. Hey, I bet I can help you. Yeah? The soldiers have secret tunnels. They take boxes into the tunnel under the fort, but they never bring them back out. What kind of boxes? Steel. Big ones. Thanks. Maybe I'll check that out. Thanks, mister. I thought I was going to starve to death. The terrorists didn't even care. They thought I was lying. Terrorists didn't even care. They thought I was lying. You were too gentle with the NSF, but I cannot complain. You completed the objective. At least you are not a coward like Paul. I'm learning as I go. You just passed lesson one. Lesson two is how we deal with the terrorists in the subway station. I'm ready. The terrorists have wired the platform with explosives and put in hostages. Get the hostages out if you can, but make sure the NSF learned that human shields will not work against you, Natko. Nothing we can't handle with a few EMP grenades. We are thinking the same thought. I will equip you with two grenades. They will disable any electronic detonators within a radius of 20 meters. Your brother Paul has gotten our troops into another mess. Paul has his unit scattered and pinned down by heavy resistance in Hell's Kitchen. The NSF regrouped in Hell's Kitchen, perhaps because it is close to where they have taken the Ambrosia. 
Too bad you do not have cochlear implants like I do. You could listen for sonic transducers and not get your head blown off. You have your orders. Somebody kill me! Anybody! I'm sorry, I can't kill you. Please. Go to a public clinic. They can do something for the pain. It's true. It's your whole body. Every cell. You have the Grey Death? I can't make it. I just can't make it. I bet it's germ warfare. The government's got a cure. They just won't give it to people. I can't feel my fingers. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, Lord have mercy, why? Those were good boys. Every last one of them. That's what I mean when I say the goal is extermination. They don't need people. They just want to have machines do it all and get rid of everybody they don't need. Mother of God! Guess the cops got what they wanted. <laughs> no thanks to the NYPD bunch of do-nothings. I think the United Nations should just step in and take over security for the whole country. It'd be much less corrupt that way. Let me get in your way, officer. I'm right here if you need me. You guys are doing great. About time the cops cleaned up this park. Good work. We'll take it from here. We'll finish mopping up. You better check out that hostage situation in the subway. I'd like to know where the rest of the shipment went. Tis of the sweet land of liberty of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' pride, from every mountainside let freedom ring. My native country, the land of the noble free, thy name I love. Got five credits for someone who's got the Grey Death. Here you go. God bless you.
They've got hostages in the subway station. It's a living. We lost some of our men. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. Hot as hell in these masks. Unato guys are like machines. They don't know what they are. All clear. We'll stay in here. <clears throat> Good work. The hostages will be all right. Now take the train to Hell's Kitchen and report to your brother. City's lit up, man. Yeah. They're setting fires on Wall Street. I heard it on the radio. When this dies down, I'm gonna take myself a nice spread on Park Avenue. I've been waiting for this. Yeah? How's it look on the street? How's what look? The fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Tan Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. That's all I know. I'm just gonna wait it out. Maybe that guy on the steps knows what's going on. I'll be okay. Thanks. You saved my life! They were gonna blow the whole place up! Us? Them? Everything! They're maniacs! Complete maniacs! Funny, I thought the NSF was fighting for a good cause. You're right that the government shouldn't intimidate people, but neither should they. I guess they got what they deserved. Thanks again. I think I'll be okay. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Sometimes I hear things in my head. It's not normal. Majestic. Majestic. I'll be okay, thanks. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops.
What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the Free Clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Use reasonable force like you did on Liberty Island. I've got to assemble my team. Yeah? We're looking for an illegal power generator in this area. Can you help me out? I might have heard something. How much money you got? 50 credit? Sure. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I met this truck driver a while back. He had a lot of cash. I asked him where he got it and he told me he'd just hauled some power cables to a warehouse near here. Do you remember the name of the street? It didn't seem like a big deal at the time. You might try that mech chick who runs the Underworld Bar. She grew up around here. That helps a little. Thanks. Hope you find the place. Jordan's big into cleaning up this place. She's real helpful with the cops. The bar's down on the corner, near Smuggler's Hideout. A secret power station. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of people in this part of town work for the NSF. I'll be okay, thanks. I bet that NSF has a secret base or something in the warehouse district. of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down there. They don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have some extra cash. That's it. I'm not asking again. It's just a bunch of us. We go down there to get out of the cold. All right, we'll do it the hard way. Next manhole I see, I'm going underground, and I'm not coming up. Credits? They're gonna burn the city down for a few credits? Some people think the fighting's all a big game. Back off, man. What do I do? I ain't bother no one. Thank you. 
Watch it, JC. Our agents report that this area is booby trapped. And the latest news? Your brother's team hit some resistance, so they're gonna be delayed a little while we bring in chopper support. What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend Ford Schick in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look, but I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. If you come back, you can use the front door. The password's bloodshot.
Whoever's out there is in serious trouble. Serious trouble. That's him.
You must be Ford Chick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. Globulin and coatings. The soldiers kidnap homeless people and inject them with great death. I was supposed to genetically alter those poor people so they could tolerate the virus. Every time I got the sequence wrong, more people died. The soldiers seem less interested in curing the plague than in successfully integrating it into a human host. I could eliminate the immune response by removing all sequences that code for H-type Epsilon, but that's like driving a nail with a wrecking ball. I knew that patients without Epsilon chains would die, but it was the only way to narrow down the problem. I had no choice. One of the guys knew enough immunology that I couldn't fake it. Password? Bloodshot.
I got your friend out. Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. I'll take the scope for 700. Deal. See you later. Hey, and thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. It's Den. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Sure. Hand them over. Here you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, he's a little worked up. Gonna be some really sniffly terrorists. Should talk to your brother about this. You don't see the NSF using tear gas. Paul used to be fine. I don't know what happened. should have transferred. What's your business here, Agent? Just going up to my brother's room. Uh, you better hold off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. I'm your specialist. Just tell me where the hostages are being held. No one's standing in your way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Carry on, Corporal. Agent? Don't take any unnecessary risks. Remember, no deals with terrorists. Good luck, Agent. Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. NSF got the whole building. Best thing, hide your piece and lay low. That's what I'm doing. Cops stop you, bro. Don't talk back. Tonight they just shoot your ass.
Watch out, they've got guns. my breath. You saved my life. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco? Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. That's very helpful. Thanks. Thought I was a goner. You just about saved my life. I'm gonna wait here till things settle down. I'm going to wait here till things settle down. You better get out of here, Mr. Renton. We have a situation with the NSF outside. Ah, can't leave the desk unattended. You'll be caught in the crossfire. I have to order you to leave the building. Yes, of course. I'll close up in a second. I'll head out just a minute. Hey, thanks for the concern. Good to see you, Mr. Denton. Is... Is someone there? I got this one. Ooh. You all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. How's your daughter? Is she somewhere safe? I don't know. She's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. Sure. Sandra's pretty headstrong sometimes. I offered her a job at the desk. You can imagine what she said to that. If the economy hadn't bottomed out, she might have got along all right, but at 18, she just doesn't stand much of a chance. If you see her, well, never mind. I just hope she's all right. Thanks for looking out for her. Thanks. Thought I was a goner.
You just about saved my life. There were a couple of NSF on the second floor. I took care of the situation. What about the hostages? Doing fine. You guys can relax. Guess we didn't need that specialist after all. <laughs> well, I'm glad they made it. We'll take it from here. Good work, Agent. We'll take it from here. All clear. We took him out. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. All these people, they're sick. They got the plague, don't they? I'm staying as far away as I can. I don't want to get sick. I think the cops forgot about us. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squalnami? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mop to camel and we never picked him up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psych evals either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. 
NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squall know me now. Hey there. I'm Raphael. This here's Jake. Hey. Sorry, I ain't got nothing for you. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? Yeah, what about him? It won't help. There is no cure. How do you know? They show you stuff in the military. You want to know the real battlefield? It's microscopic. We can't even see it. Lucky for me, I got immunizations, but that guy? Well, once you're infected, you're infected. And what about me? I don't know. You got lucky. Not a bad thing to be. Sorry? You wanted something? What? Just call me when the shooting's over. I wish to hell they'd give us the all clear. You making a play today? Nah, scavenged some copper wiring. Wanted to get back and try it out in the sculpture. Christ, you and the sculptures. What's this one called? The Man Who Was Thursday. Makes as much sense as the last one. What was it called? Napoleon something or other? Napoleon of Notting Hill. Doesn't seem much use for sculpture today. There's always tomorrow. Look, I don't know any more than you do, friend. Check with one of the docks, okay? Christ, you see the guy begging for it? Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Please proceed to the examining room. We accept all forms of digital cash. Please have your card ready. I'm not permitted to give medical advice myself. Be prepared to give a description of your problem in three sentences or less. You will have to consult one of the doctors. Please proceed to the examining room. It's all ice cream and lollipops. That's what the nice man on TV said. When the weather changes, <laughs> we'll be lost. And no one will know who anyone else is anymore. By the pricking of my... My finger. Something wicked. Something wicked is about to be known. Not me. No, I didn't have anything to do with it. Not now. Please, leave me alone. Wait your turn. They said they'd call my name. The medbots could give me a shot in two seconds, but the doctors keep them locked up. Someone's getting rich off the Grey Death, that's for sure. Who will help the widow's son? Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. The NSF are playing right into our hands. I don't hear much about it, but I know the signs. There's gonna be an announcement soon. We just have to give DC a little push. I like to keep people guessing. I always beat around the bush. No way I would break the oath. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300, but if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Never mind. As you wish.
Got a few credits. You have the plague? Nah. Cops ran us off the streets. Usually I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district, but somebody boarded up the window. You live in a tunnel? Actually, I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building. Nice view, if it's not too cold. There's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel. Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. One thing about the warehouse district. You've got to know which buildings are safe. Some have armed guards. One of the doctors... I kind of like it better in here. Doctors don't seem to mind. If the cops declare martial law, maybe we can stay. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Plague tests are free. Please do not disturb the other patients. I have other patients to attend to. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. Bet you'd do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. And our rich people don't get great death. Don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it. I never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. Wait your turn. You should be more appreciative. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Trust me. When there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. They say the plague came from monkeys, but that's not true. It was the army. It was the scientists. You don't see scientists getting sick. Rich people like Bob Page who own all the technology, they don't get sick. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. Don't mention it. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 That's at a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 Never mind. Suit yourself. Vectors. The vectors are all wrong. I was in the biochem department at the college. I know what I'm talking about. It's not a class disease. Not just poor people. It's hygiene. That's where it starts. I don't think it's contagious at all. I think terrorists put great death in the water. Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing alright? Yeah. They told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. You know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. I'm not the only one they threw out. Think they're some kind of freedom fighters. Justice will be served. I filed a formal complaint, but the city ignored it. If you think you have gray death, please pick up an information packet. Plague victims can have their medication mailed to their homes at no additional cost. See one of the doctors to purchase treatment. We encourage everyone to consider the automated care plan. Medbots are available 24 hours. 
please understand that the free clinic must charge for certain services to cover basic expenses. We are doing everything we can regarding the epidemic. The riot cops are running scared. Troops, I need help. What's the problem? Actually, it's my friend. Johnny took her into the alley west of here, across the street. Slow down. Who's Johnny? I got a bad feeling about this. He was mad. He gets crazy when he's mad. Don't worry. I'll check it out. I hope she's okay. If Johnny touches her, I swear to God I'll kill him. Joe Green. Midnight Sun, glad to know you. What can you tell me about what's going on out there? Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. How about I ask you a few questions? Splendid! I certainly would like to know what an international anti-terrorist organization expects to find in a dive like this. Heard anything about a secret NSF power generator? Uh-huh. Playing the detective, are we? I take it you've been assigned to eliminate certain weapons systems. Defenses, maybe? Am I getting warm? Just answer the question. Let me be more pointed. How does it feel to be ordered to murder civilians just because they support the fastest growing political movement in this nation's history? In a democracy, armed rebellion is criminal, not political. Rebellion, as the Declaration of Independence tells us, is not only our right, but our duty when we have suffered a long train of abuses and usurpations. This is gonna make a great story. Keep me updated. Don't worry. I'll say sources within UNATCO, if I quote you. It's still going on, isn't it? They're shooting people right outside the bar. I don't know what to do. I gotta get home. This man came around. He sent everyone in here, but he never said what to do next. I wonder if it's safe yet. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? You mean that guy smuggler across the street? Already know him, huh? Too bad. Hey, how about I tell you about something you can't hear from anybody else? What's that? Area 51. You heard of it, right? Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. I worked out there. Most people think they got aliens from another planet, but I didn't see any flying saucers. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you. For the price of a beer. What can I get you? You work here. You must know the area. Heard of an old warehouse with an illegal power generator? Not exactly, but if you're looking for a warehouse, you should probably start in the warehouse district. Where's that? A few blocks south. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, you may be out of luck. Even though one of the old warehouses faces onto the park, I don't know how you'd get inside. Sounds like a good place to start. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just ten credits. That's some heavy augmentation. 
Yeah. Axionatco, what's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? I can still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. Shoot. Beer, please. There you go. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. I've seen all kinds of executives coming and going. I'm sure plenty of bureaucrats fly out there. Billionaires. Big executives. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back when they promised they were going to stop spying on people. Surveillance is a very distributed technology. To centralize it in one large facility would be very unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. Every computer on the planet. Know anything that's worth the price of a beer? Ah, this old bird's had enough. Hell, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with Yonatko, right? Why do you ask? I'm the one that flies your brother Paul to Hong Kong. He told me to watch out for you. I didn't know Yonatko hired pilots. The black choppers are run by the NSA to support various classified operations. The Pentagon uses them, the CIA. They hired me because I don't ask any questions. What was Paul's assignment in Hong Kong? Like I said, I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason UNACO transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Your brother's one of the bravest men I know. I sure hope Paul knows what he's doing. Check out the girl on the leather top. One thing the Air Force never understood. I'm dependable. No matter what, I'm dependable. Hi, Ambrosia from a drug dealer. We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. If I gave it to her, and it was cut... Jojo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Shay, kick cod. Use a little vodka this time. I guess I have to do something. Uh, excuse us, we're having a conversation. You would never forgive yourself if... I know, I know. It's to be expected. Ambrosia's a controlled substance. Most people don't even think it exists. To be pain and shits in a crimey alley somewhere? You ought to be thankful the dealers got their hands on it. A week from now, listen to me. I say this for your own good. Next week, it might be too late. I said leave us alone. Get lost. Yes? Just curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. I'm sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't give my hopes up. I don't know what to say. You just have to do what you think is right. Can I ask a question? Go right ahead. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. You in real estate? I just need to find it. Oh, oh, oh of course. You know, I tied in power at a place a few blocks south, a warehouse. Strangest thing, they wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. How do I get over there? No way through the blockades now. We went over some rooftops to get there. There was a lift. The code was 3316, I think. Thanks for the tip. I think he should do it. His wife is very sick. I'm gonna do it. I'm glad. I hope she does better. Can't be any worse for her than morphine. Hey, Shay. One for the road. I also worked on their hydraulic system. 
If you ask me, I don't think one of those guys has seen a generator before in his life. You're a good man, Agent. Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? Beer's my favorite financial instrument. It's true. You can taste an economy going sour. Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? Hi, my name is Meg. Talk to one of the guys in green. You natcos are running the show today. We've been asked to direct pedestrians to the underworld bar. You'll be safe there. About time these thugs came out in the open. Now, this is a job for military units, not city police. Stay clear of the fighting. What I'm telling you, girl? You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you how it don't play with me, this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, is business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out is like a game. You get beat out. You want something? Talk to Johnny. Girl, don't make me tell you again. I'm sick, Johnny. I really am. I gotta lie down. What you want? You've got ten seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to yell. Or she don't hear me. Three. She skitters on me. It's my ass, man. One. All right. Go on. Jesus. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. Right. The weapons dealer. Hey, you shouldn't have threatened Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out... Your father asked me to look for you. He'd like you to come home. My dad shouldn't have hired a hitman. Stupid way to get himself killed. I've been hearing about this punk Jojo. I'll straighten him out if you can tell me where to find him. You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think he can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military-type stuff, plus their guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You get home so your father won't have to worry. I can take care of myself. Thanks already. Now leave me alone. Thank you. 
I think your friend is going to be all right. What about Johnny? I gave him a good scare. Where's he at? I don't know, but if he gives you any more trouble, just tell me. I hope he doesn't think I ratted him out. What can you tell me about his boss, Jojo? Oh, Jojo, he's nothing, man. We used to go out. His body mods? Cosmetic. Scars? <laughs> I saw him cut his face one time just so he'd look mean. Maybe I'll straighten him out as well. Well, if you ever want to get into the warehouse where he hides out, I know the code. It's 3316. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Jojo shouldn't stick us with guys like Johnny. That ain't cool. Sandra looks a little shaken up. I hope she's all right. I don't know why Sandra doesn't just stay with her dad. He's okay. At least she's got somebody. You could at least let your father know you're all right. He knows where I am. You mad at him or something? No, but I don't want him running my life like he runs that cheap hotel. He doesn't do such a bad job. He never got nowhere because he never took chances. That ain't me. I'm gonna do things my way. I think you should be more grateful for what he's done. Let's leave it at that. Mind your own business. I don't need you or anybody telling me what to do. Somebody should take a wrecking ball of that scummy hotel. Glad they made it. I saw your daughter Sandra down the block. She didn't look so good. Sandra? Was she coming back to the hotel? I ran off a thug who was harassing her, but she's still mixed up in some pretty nasty business. You better talk to her. No. No more talking. If you see her, tell her I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. I'll tell her she can trust you. I should probably go find her. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she'll come in from the fighting. Why'd she have to do this to me? Thanks for looking out for her. They think they're invincible at that age. Well, I'm glad they made it. We'll take it from here.
watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite image that should help you plan your approach.
Good job, JC. The power just died at the NSF headquarters. Now it's up to Paul. Go to the roof. A chopper is arriving with Agent Herman on board. He will lock down the warehouse while you take the chopper back to HQ. Bandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of this district. I took care of the generator. How's the raid going? We should have sent Agent Navarre. Your brother is timid like a child. Did something go wrong? You do not need to hear anything from me. Take the helicopter back to base. I am sure Mandali has planned a debriefing for the top agents. I do not need assistance. The helicopter is waiting. Learn your lesson from Paul. A simple job. They have been doing the work of bots. You will be bored if you stay here with me. Boarding call, not go HQ. Hey, you're the guy I talked to at the Underworld Bar, right? The one asking for beer. You don't want to fly one of these birds all wound up. They have a temperament, especially in a crosswind. Let's go. Did you see that? Yes, I... That was uncalled for. You mug people great. You need the dough. But you show some respect. What were they after? Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. So those guys were NSF? Yeah, the NSF gives guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways? The sewers? 
They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base, and I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. Me, personally, I don't rob. I think it's wrong. I think Curly went underground, but remember that password. You might need it someday. Appreciate the help. The NSF are all right. It's just some of the people that hang around them, you know? Thank you.